My name is Mike Napa, and I wrote the book Reflections for the Grieving Soul. Uh, I wrote this book during the first year after my wife Amy passed away from cancer. What I found was that when Amy died, um, there was just this great outpouring of people with love and support and this uh, all around me for the two weeks between her death and then the funeral. And the funeral was beautiful and it was well attended. And, um, but then after the funeral, all of those people seemed to kind of melt away. And I'm not saying I was abandoned or lost or whatever, but there was no more of that great support. And after the funeral, I found that I had to deal with Amy's death by myself uh, instead of with a great crowd of people supporting me. So what I, I was struggling through this time, and I was looking for scripture, and I was going to the Bible to find things to encourage myself, and finally I felt desperate enough that I went onto Facebook and I said to my friends, look, I'm drowning here. Uh, would you send me whatever scripture it is that you use when you're when you need help from God, when you need encouragement from God? And man, they did. They sent me a ton of their favorite scriptures. And then I also found some encouraging uh, Bible verses from my wife's journals that she had left behind for me. And of course, I had some of my own. And so I took them all and I, I printed them out and I cut them up on little slips of paper and taped them onto three by five cards. And I put them in a stack. There were over a hundred of them. And I put them in a stack next to my bed. And I decided I was going to read one of those scriptures every day for the first 100 days um, and that I was going to just do that and, and see if that helped. And so I would get up in the morning and I would read that top card and I would carry it with me during the day and I would read that scripture several times during the day. I'd read it when I was at lunch or when I was just weeping for no reason or I would read it when I was getting ready to go to bed. And I did this for 100 days and then without even noticing it, I, uh, I kept doing it. And I, a good year went by, and then I realized I had so far surpassed the, the 100 days that I thought I was going to use these scriptures. I still have those scriptures. At this point, it's been nearly seven years since Amy died, and I still have that stack of worn-out 3 by 5 cards next to my bed, and I still pick them up and we will read these scriptures. And so I took the top 100 of those scriptures, and I, I put them into this book uh, for you so that you could maybe find some strength and hope in the way that I did. During that first year uh, after Amy died, when I felt kind of adrift, um, I don't typically journal, uh, but I was reading these scriptures and they kept raising questions in me. and. And I kept wanting to talk to God about them. And so I started writing down some of my thoughts and prayers um, to God about these scriptures. For instance, one of the scriptures from the Sermon on the Mount where Jesus says, uh, blessed are those who mourn. And I know a little bit about um, scripture study and I knew that the word blessed actually means uh, almost quite literally, how happy. And I'm was looking at that and thinking, well, how can he say, how happy are those who are sad? What is that about? And so I, I wrote these up into uh, prayers. And then at the end of that year, I went back through them and I took 40 of those journal entries and those became the reflections that are now uh, in the book, Reflections for the Grieving Soul. Those are interspersed then between those 100 scriptures.